Hey there, thanks for stepping up to uh, handle and update the WRN member roster. I'm going to go through all the parts of what's necessary to do that. So uh, here we are at the WRN website. But before we jump into this, let's take a look at the uh, prospective member questionnaire. You'll be receiving this. I've put you on the distribution list. So so you'll be receiving this when a uh, when someone wants to join the group. Now, don't take action on this, of course, until they've actually joined, but once they, they have, you will have all of their of their information. So let's see what to do with that. Uh, go to member login, and I'm going to send you my login info. Unfortunately, I can't grant you uh, ad administrative access, so you just have to use my login. So we're gonna be using the, the membership functions. So once you're here, let's look back at her questionnaire. And we see the business category is residential short-term leasing consultant. Well, we know we don't have that as a member category, so we're going to have to add it. So you just highlight it there right in the email and copy. And go over here and see where it says click here to add a category. And we're just going to paste it in and click add category. Real simple. Once that's done, you just click uh, members only homepage and that takes you back here. So then we click here up at the top where it says click here to add a new member. And then we're gonna go back to her questionnaire and just grab some things out of, out of there. So her name is Christina Lynn. And Hagen, you just type it in. I prefer to copy and paste. Now you're you're not gonna have all this information. As as you can see here, she did not include her uh, business name, but, uh, but, but that's fine. We just wanna get it started. Once it's started, you'll be notifying uh, the new member and asking them to fill in the rest of their information. You just copy the cell. Email. And we can use the business category as her title. And then up here where it says category, well, we can just use the category that we just added. Now, of course, if it's a category like restaurant, sales, sales, training, screen printing, that's already there. You don't have to add it. But for a more unusual one, you can add it. And let's see, she didn't include her website or LinkedIn. So we'll just leave those blank and let her fill that in. And then you click submit new company information. Now look what we, we have here. Uh, a company name must be entered. So if somebody did not include their company name, um, you're going to have to find out what that is. Maybe give them a call or send them a text. So for now, I'm just going to make her business name her category, and she can go in and change that later herself. And by the way, just leave the password as uh, AAA. Uh, she can change that herself as, as well. Let's submit this. Oh, good. It, it worked. Now, once that is done, you're going to want to send her an email asking her to update her company information. Now, what do you say in that email? Don't you worry. I have that ready to go for you. Uh, this also has the link to the instructional video showing the person how to update their listing. And I will send this to you in an email. Would encourage you to uh, keep this as a file on your computer so you can reference it uh, as you need. Now, with that said, let's take a look at the member directory. So you just go back to the home page, go to member directory. And scroll down down here and look for people who don't really have a very extensive listing. Like right here, Ben Ben Domino or or Martin, Lewis, Michael Goldstein, uh, Rod Rod Daniels. Send them that email as well, encouraging them to update their their listing. Let's remind them that part of their success in WRN is about promoting themselves on our website. This gives a resource for people who are interested in using their services to learn more about them. So they're really shooting themselves in the foot by not having more information. Um, let's help them help themselves by encouraging them to update their listing. And as for the photo, don't worry about that. Once the listing is updated, let me know and I will upload their photo. 
Okay, good job on that. Now let's go to the WRN roster on our Google Docs and update that as well. I will send you that link, which should take you right into our roster section here on uh, the Google Drive. But just in case it doesn't or you get a little lost, here's the Google Drive. You want to go to rosters and there's two files that you want to pay attention to. Uh, WRN roster and info all master list and WRN roster public. So let's start with master list. If you've never worked with uh, Google Docs, this is essentially just a Microsoft Excel file that's online. So we're going to add her to this list. It would be great if the WRN website could talk to this list and uh, add it automatically, but it doesn't. So we have to do it this way. So let's look back at our questionnaire. Her last name is Hagen, H-A-G-A-N. So let's go down to the H's and we're going to add it for Lori's. So you, um, you right click or if you're on Mac, uh, control click and go to insert one above. Real simple. Then we're going to pop her information in here. Christina Lynn, Hagen. Now this next one is her business name. And good news, she just texted me and told me that her business name is Christina Lynn Consultants. And we're going to put her business category there. Now if it extends beyond the cell here, go up to this button here for text wrapping and use that center one for wrap around. Fits nicely. Her email address. She doesn't have a website. We have her cell phone number. Now on this, I'm going to ask that you take out all the commas, spaces, dashes, and everything else. Makes it easier if it's all symmetrical. Or maybe I'm just <laughs> anal retentive. That's very possible. Uh, here we have the uh, address, uh, city, state, zip code. These are answers to the questions, the questionnaire that I put out about what members want and what they're willing to do to uh, get it. Now, I have their name duplicated here because, as you can see, once you get further to the right on this spreadsheet, you can no longer see their name. So it's just helpful if you have their, their name on this side, too. So we can just... Grab her whole name and stick it right there. Now, you can also see that the font uh, style and size are different. So we're going to want to make that consistent with the other font style and sizes. Uh, also, when I popped in her name there, uh, we lost the formatting there. So that's super simple. You just highlight that, go up to the fill color. And I think it's the third one from the right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's go back over here. We can click on someone else's name and we can see it's uh, Calibri 12. So we're just going to do that here. In the vertical align, align it to middle. We're going to do the horizontal alignment to the left. And there we have it. So now what's the difference between the, the master list, which is that one, and the public list? The reason that there are two lists is that the public list allows people to change their, their information, which means they could easily or mistakenly delete something like that. We don't want that to happen. So that's why we have a master list that is not online and a public list that is. So if somebody mistakenly goes in and deletes someone's information, we always have this this backup list. So we need to update the public list because that's the one that people see on the WRN knowledge base. Now, the other difference between the master list and, and the public list is on the master list, I'm including the what you want and how committed are you. We don't want to put that in the public list. That's more personal information. So to copy it, you can click right here on A1. And then go over so you see zip, which is the last column before the personal information, and scroll down to the last listing. Hit the shift button on your keyboard and click. 
So now we've highlighted everything except for those two columns. Then you hit copy on your keyboard, go over to the public list, click right here on A1 and click paste. Now, did it work? Let's go down and take a look. Yep, there she is. Now, what do we do when someone leaves the group? Well, we have to remove their name from the roster and also from the WRN website. So we're gonna work backwards now. Um, I'm gonna duplicate Nathan, just to give an example. So let's say that um, Nathan leaves the group. You wanna highlight the entire row by clicking there. Not there, because that's only highlighting uh, the first column, but click on that number and that will highlight everything. Copy, click here on former members and just paste it right in. Now, as you can see, there's a lot less information over here. I'm not keeping everything. I just want their name, the name of their business, uh, their email address and phone number. So we'll just copy the email address there the phone number there and then this is just the listing so if I copy it out I always know where I got it from and then we're gonna go over here and just delete these other things so you so this is highlighted I'm just gonna click and I'm, I'm gonna hold down the shift and click there and then I can just click delete values there we go and if you want to make it consistent you can just highlight that and go to the color and add no color there Go back here and then just delete that listing. Of course, that was just a duplicate. Nathan is still is still there. So and because Nathan isn't a former member, I'm just going to delete it out of there. Now, we do not share the former members in the public list. As you can see there, uh, there's just this sheet. Now, you would also have to update the public list. So you could just copy and paste again, or you can just go and delete his listing. So again, if Nathan was uh, leaving, you just right click and click delete row, and that would remove Nathan from the public list. Now let's do the same back at the WRN site. Log in under my name. And here, the second one down, it says click here to inactivate an existing member or reactivate a former member. So if Nathan was leaving, and let's hope he's, he's not, you just go right, right here and click inactivate and that would immediately remove him from the member listing. Now, if Nathan came back, or let's say that Dr. Sherry Zander came, came back, all you have to do is click reactivate, and that will put them back in. All of their information is saved. So it would also be helpful uh, once a month to look at the members whose information is not in here and go back to the WRN members page and see if they have updated their, their listing. So, for instance, looking at, at Ara, when this was made, I didn't have his business name, category, e email address, or, or website. Uh, going back here, okay, great. So he's added um, his business name. We have his website. We have the category. So you can really easily just copy that and paste it in this category coffee and vending copy that and paste it in there you go let's see if uh, Moshi has added his information he has so you can certainly go back here and add that information in so like I say once a month just take a little stroll through here and uh, see if new members who didn't have their info in information in uh, need to do so. And if they do, please update it. Christina would certainly be our next victim. If we could get her website right there, that would be terrific. And you can take a look here and just once a month email members who do not have a, a full a full listing and ask them to uh, do so. For instance, Doug Kornblatt. And actually, Doug doesn't even have a listing in the member roster. So you'd want to add that in as well. So once all this is updated, it should be fairly easy to keep it consistent. Right now, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge because it uh, hasn't been updated in a, in a bit. But uh, once you get that taken care of, again, it should be fairly easy to keep everything consistent. So thanks so much for stepping up to do this. If you have any questions, please let me know.